What's up guys and here we are back at it again for another YouTube video but before we go any further let me explain you a little bit about what's going to happen next. So a few months ago I was contacted by l'Institut Français de Turquie and at first I didn't really know what an institut was about and what was their job really. And they explained that these instituts are present all around the world and their job is really to promote French culture. They liked my work, so we started a conversation about coming to Turkey and creating a photo exhibition inside of three antennas in Istanbul, Izmir, and Ankara. And look, I was really stoked because I've been wanting to come to Turkey for so many years now, seeing all this, these amazing visuals on social media and YouTube and all these videos, so I thought this might be a good excuse to actually organize a cool trip to Turkey. The plan is pretty simple. Go on a road trip to Turkey, shoot in five cities in two weeks with an amazing team and basically capture some iconic photos and videos in some of the most iconic spots. But if you don't know me, you know I always like to take it a step further. So I thought, let me try and combine this with maybe more collaborations, uh, more projects around this really cool trip. And so I thought it'd be cool to reach out to the Edition Hotel because I had friends that I worked with there in the past and see if they would maybe host me for a couple days as we were gonna start the trip in Bodrum. This is the first video of a four-part series and we're gonna start in Bodrum and then we're gonna take it to Ankara, Izmir, Cappadocia to finish in Istanbul. Now be ready because we're gonna capture amazing visuals and meet incredible people. This is where it starts. Let me take you from Paris all the way to the coast of Bodrum. At the villa, we're going to change. I don't have the keys. Do you have the keys? Yes. Come on. Thank you, miss. All right. Let's quickly grab our stuff. We'll do a tour after. Look at this. They got some snacks for us. This is oh. five-star service. Thank you, edition. Okay, okay. My clothes upstairs. See you in a bit. We're at the pool right now. I'm going to change. We just shot inside the lobby of the hotel. We're gonna shoot from all the way up there. Take advantage of the sun that's hitting us perfectly in the right axis right now. Take advantage of this beautiful weather. How do I look? Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? We got the pool right in front of the sea with the mountain in the back. And I've seen a lot of beautiful places in my life, but this has to top it. How's it feeling, man? Oh, it feels good, man. <laughs> <laughs> the the suit is heavy though now. It's uh, it's not the same weight, but I think it looks good, right? So. And we were invited here at the Bodrum Edition Hotel to stay for the first part of our trip. So I want to show you a little bit inside. This is a little letter from the general manager, Mark. Welcome in. This is the lobby. We're going to walk in this absolutely gorgeous place. What I'm going to do is that to make sure I don't say anything wrong, I'm going to pull up all the information on the website and I'm just going to show you around. So, first of all, this is the only villa in the Edition Hotel. It has a three-story, it's a three-story villa with four bedrooms, private swimming pool and garden, two living rooms, dressing area, dining room, kitchen and hall, maids and driver's rooms, and a hammam. And I'm gonna show you the best part, the best part of this entire place. When you open these blinds, you open this up, oh. here we have one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. Three fun facts about Bodrum. In ancient time, Bodrum was called Halicarnassus, and when the King Masolius died, his wife, the Queen Artemisia, built a splendid tomb so spectacular that it bore fruit to a new architectural style that would be globally known as the Masolian. The Bodrum Castle was once a military base, a mosque, and a prison. 
The castle remained under the Ottoman Empire for almost 400 years. In 2016, it was inscribed in the tentative list of World Heritage Sites in Turkey. Bodrum is also famous today thanks to a hometown hero, Shivat Shakir Kabashla, also known as the Fisherman of Halicarnassus. He wrote short stories and essays and was also a keen ethnographer and travel writer. He is also credited with inventing the Blue Cruise. If you like what you see, just like me, drop a like right now because there's a lot more coming and I'm not showing you any more if you're not liking. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Our next objective is to shoot up there. If you see this building, the architecture, how the light is hitting the wall is just unbelievable. I think there's going to be a lot of ways for me to play with my shadow. So I'm not sure if I'm really allowed to do it, but I'm just going to go and climb, go up there and see, see what happens. Raf, ready with the camera? Hey, mate. Edition people, you guys ready? Ready. Okay, <laughs> boom. Uh, and I'm just going to take this outfit just in case for, I don't know, the Y might be too much on this. Maybe I'll change to blue. We'll see. All right, I'm out, guys. See you We have no idea what this is going to look like, so hopefully it's the right shot. Just got done shooting the last visual of the day on this, uh, I don't know how you call it, this wooden platform. I think this uh, wraps it for the day. Catch you another one. Ah! Now we're getting ready uh, for a nice little dinner out in the city. Last night here, before we head out to, then we go to Izmir tomorrow. Local, cool, typical, kebab. Uh, Amazing. Looks so oh. yummy, huh? We got done with an awesome dinner. The kebab was unbelievable. First time having the real local kebab here. It's time to go to bed and get ready for another day tomorrow. Uh, last morning in Bodrum, we're gonna take advantage of this beautiful weather and we're gonna go to this iconic place with uh, windmills, beautiful white windmills. I love the approach to it within my work, within the air, the levitation. Um, so we're gonna have to drive for 40 minutes, I think, and then start shooting. over there in the back and there's actually a castle also it's very interesting I, I thought it would be more graphic honestly but that's also part of the process you know is you find something and then you let your imagination work and you try to come up with a, a cool idea I imagine something very simple you know just playing with this empty area maybe standing in the middle and shooting from where you're standing that way I think it would be very, very minimal, very cool, very graphic. This is probably the best one out of them all. You can see. Um, but unfortunately, because of, I guess, all the tourists, they put all these fences around it, so it's not as cool or as graphic. We just got done at this spot. We didn't find as many things as we would have liked to but we still were able to get really cool shots with this windmill in the back and then a really nice running one as well just gonna pack go back to the hotel we're gonna admire this view one more time and then we're gonna drive to Izmir Raf is over there dealing with some dudes with a red car I don't know like he's taking photos of them if someone tries to attack you in the scene you can just smack them in the face with it see you tomorrow guys I don't know why <laughs> one of my shoes is off but like that. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>